Hello, and welcome to Convince Catholicism, a place for all things Catholic. Today, I have a very fun and interesting book here. I have the St. Edmund Campion Missal. As it indicates here, this is for the uh, traditional Latin Mass. This uh, is just for Sundays, okay? Uh, and this book is really handy and interesting and educational in multiple ways. Uh, it is extremely versatile, okay? Um, this is recommended to me by Andy uh, from Australia. So I'm very thankful to him for the recommendation. I didn't really know it existed before he told me about it. So uh, this review in part is brought to you by uh, his recommendation. So let's go ahead and take a look at the dimensions of the book, right? So uh, six by nine and a quarter by uh, just about an inch. We'll call it an inch, right? So can you bring it to church with you? Uh, <laughs> I mean, theoretically, I mean, I guess you could, right? Um, but is it ideal for it? Not really. I mean, if you compare it to the other missiles that I've showed to you on this page, this book is just a little bit too tall and slightly too wide for this to be brought with you comfortably. And if you're, you know, at the pew and you're kneeling, uh, you know, you might not be able to, um, I guess you could say share the pew with, uh, people, or, you know, whatever. But, <clears throat> and as you can see, this book, it really has a lot in it, All right? So uh, this is for the 1960, well, this is for the 1962 and the 1955 uh, Tridentine Mass, okay? So uh, we can see that there, this is quite uh, extensive, and this is by Sophia Institute Press. You can see that it's 2024, this is a relatively new printing, which is very nice. Um, there's absolutely beautiful artwork throughout. The font is very easy to read. Uh, we can see here that there are a few translation considerations, right? So first of all, there is uh, information from Ronald Knox, who is known for... Uh, his not only his uh translation of the bible which i've done a review on but also his murder mysteries and his uh relationship with gk chesterton right so what this book is for right because if you're not going to bring this to mass what would you bring it for well <clears throat> uh this is basically for learning how to pray the latin mass as a lay person right so we can see that there are tons of different uh, notes. This is kind of like a textbook and a missile at the same time. We can also see some historical examples of what different missiles and some Gregorian chant would have looked like, right? Really a rather impressive book, right? And why is it called the St. Edmund Campion Missile? Well, we can see here... Uh, such a love first led Father Edmund Campion, who passed in 1581, he received his eternal reward in 1581, into exile from his homeland, and then compelled him to return and brave the dangers that Elizabethan England posed to a Catholic priest and Jesuit missionary. A great personal risk, Father Campion preached the true faith to his countrymen, brought life-giving sacraments to fainting souls, and finally, after having famously promised to Anglicans either to win you uh, heaven or die upon your pikes, suffered martyrdom. This missile is named in honor of his heroic charity and is dedicated as he was to the service of Christ and his church. So Edmund Campion clearly uh, introduced to the English-speaking world uh, or reintroduced to the English-speaking world, uh, you know, Latin Catholicism rather than Anglicanism, right? Uh, and uh, he is one of the 
uh, martyrs of the English church, right? Uh, Jesuits have, have historically been considered suspicious in the Anglican church. So let's go ahead and take a look at the book here, right? So <clears throat> uh, we have it here on the Epiphany, but uh, it's Epiphany Tide, right? So we can see here that the English is very big text. You could read that quite easily, even if you are visually impaired. Um, you might need some reading glasses for the Latin, but really this is for you to understand the the uh, the meaning of the Mass, the English within the Mass, right? So we can see here really rather beautiful, almost like Elizabethan looking uh, uh, text, right? Um, and the font is is rather is rather beautiful as well. Okay. Um, so we can see here that it's, uh, it goes through the Sundays. This is not a daily missile. If they were to fit all of this into a daily missile, it would have to probably be, uh, several volumes. Um, this is one volume. This is meant to get you through the Sundays. And to be totally honest, you know, I unfortunately am not, at least not in my area, they don't really offer the Latin Mass on a daily basis. Uh, the only benefit I would have personally, at least in my, at least where I'm in my, the area I'm in, the only benefit I would have for a daily Latin Missal is to garner the the readings from it. Okay, uh, but the like I said, this is really kind of like a coffee table book, a missal, a textbook, all at the same time. It's rather magnificent we can see the artwork in here is absolutely stunning and there's english and uh, english color and black and white art and we can see also uh examples of gregorian chant uh we can see here the uh, our father laid out rather beautifully in latin uh and we can see that there's uh the 1962 as well as the 1955 Holy Weeks, <clears throat> which is very nice. You know, a lot of people prefer the 1955 because of the different ritual, right? Uh, we also have uh, the uh, the Mass in kind of a in a. Oh, we also have the Father Lassans translation, right? Father Lassance was an American priest. He was known for creating several prayer books, and the most famous one of which was his Missal, which is kind of the, like I've mentioned already, the Missal to end all missiles. Here we have the uh, Ordu Messe, which is the Order of the Mass. Uh, we can see it starts here on page uh, page 177. We can see it's two columns per page, English on the left-hand side, and, uh, well, actually, this is all in English, isn't it? So, yeah, this is the English uh, section of it, okay? And then we get to the prefaces, which is for communi uh, the uh, Eucharistic prayer, right? And then we have what is really especially uh, unique to this, uh, missile, or uh, which is the, and you can actually, if you have good enough eyesight, you can kind of see where the pages are different, right? The this is where the photographic glossy paper kind of uh, starts, and you can see where it is in the middle of the book, uh, and that is where the the noted and very heavily annotated and decorated version of the missile. Uh, with the Gregorian chant takes place, you really do feel like you're in a, you're looking at a medieval uh, or at least Elizabethan uh, missal here. Uh, and it has both the English and the Latin uh, with the first, the uh, order for the, like the purification, the blessing of holy water or blessing with holy water, I should say. And then we have where the actual mass does uh, begin with uh, Psalm 42, Jeduchame, uh, um, right? And then we can see some 
modern photography here. Uh, those who pray the Confitior bow profoundly. We can see the priest there praying it. And then when the deacons and the servers will pray it, they will bow as well. Uh, right, And we can see some different historical examples. This really is a fantastic book. I want to thank Andy again for the recommendation. We can see uh, the celebrant stands at the center uh, for the Gloria, right? We can see that there are plenty of illustrations and notes um, describing what is going on at the Mass and why it's going on, right? So uh, we see here the Gloria with the uh, Gregorian chant. The Glorious Gloria. Some of the greatest masterpieces have been uh, Gloria settings. And so it also talks about the history of some of the uh, musical notation that goes on with it. So really an unbelievable uh, addition here. Uh, and one that's great for if you're a fan of art, if you're a fan of music, if you're a fan of history, if you enjoy the Latin Mass, you want to know more about it. If you are maybe a cantor in the choir, this is a great, 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 great book, All right? And then we can continue with the with the propers, All right? So uh, they very wisely break the propers up, uh, Lent or you know, Advent to Lent, Easter to Trinity Tide. And then we also end up with the 1950 Holy Week at the back. Uh, we also have the Mass of the Dead, which would have been common enough for people to have attended. Uh, and then what else do we have here? We have the 1950 uh, Good Friday, right? With the 1950, 1955, uh, right? So, and this one is translated by Ronald Knox. We see some diagrams. Let's see, what else do we have here? Some more Gregorian chant. Uh, and then blessings of the font, right? So we have, you know, it's mainly uh, a missile with some explanations. There's really not much uh, beyond the missile. Having said that, I do wish that there was more than one ribbon marker. I wish there were maybe two or three more. One for the proper, one for the, uh, even though there are uh, these glossy pages, one for these glossy pages. Uh, why? Because when you flip to the secret prayer or the post-communion, you're going to have to flip back to wherever these prayers are. So even though these are distinct uh, feeling, you may not know what page number it is, and it would be annoying to have a, a finger or a thumb in there to save it. Uh, and then a third one, of course, for uh, the prefaces. Uh, and then maybe a fourth one for um, if there's you know, any additional saints here, right? So there are going to be a few, few, few saints here um, that are specific to North America. Uh, maybe a fourth ribbon there, but not necessary. Uh, either way, this, uh, this missile is great. It's fairly affordable. It's available on Amazon. Uh, for the quality and the content you get, I would say that it's a good deal. Um, I don't recall how much I paid for it, but I'm always saving for these books. And when I saw that this, what the price was, I thought, oh, really? That's not that bad. Um, so, you know, your mileage may vary, uh, but this is a wonderful book and uh, I very highly recommend it. Even if it uh, sits on your coffee table, that's, that's uh, wonderful. It's a conversation starter at the very least. Uh, thank you very much. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and God bless.